Where the braid pours its waters along, in peace to be laid, the broom brushes among. When the willows around and the breeze swelling near make a musical sound, all delightful to hear. We're at the end of the atrium, which is the, the first room that you walk into in the museum and what we have is a really exciting interactive display which has a lot of different objects from the collection and line drawings and there are some tables set up and you can check out what the different objects are about and some of them have, have audio and some of them have films. The stones that you see on the floor around in the atrium have some poems from a local poet called David Herbison, who in the 19th century was part of a tradition of rhyming weaver poets. They were active around this area and also had very strong links to Scotland. We have a huge New York Center and Museum facility here, a 400 seat theater, 77 seat studio theater, arts workshops and several exhibition spaces where we program major contemporary art exhibitions and smaller local exhibitions. Part of our facilities here as well include a, a cafe, a bar, we have a huge tourist information centre where we attract visitors from all over Northern Ireland and abroad. We have a craft shop and BBC have an outside broadcast studio with us as well. We're a community-based orchestra in Ballymena. We have been on the go for three years. We were formed in 2006 and we perform three concerts a year. One in the Braid as part of Ballymena Arts Festival each year and two others which are at various venues through the town. We have a choir as well as an orchestra and we're always looking for new members and people who want to come along and experience our music. <laughs> We're at Arthur Cottage a half a mile outside Cullybecky in the townland of the Drain, the ancestral home of President Chester Allen Arthur, who became president in 1881 on the assassination of President Garfield, and then he died in 1886 after four years' presidency. The cottage itself is over 200 years old. There's the main cottage where the Arthur family would have been reared. It's a kitchen, bedroom and upstairs. We have a small museum of all the tools, farm tools and things that they would have used in those days. Mm -hmm. 